that when you were talking about gaffing and eating the uh eating the steak late at night after <laughs> the thing i remember when we first went out and started touring uh you were putting together the system of how we're going to do this and wouldn't it be a great idea to have a pizza on the plane i remember that <laughs> and we'll eat pizza on the way back yeah and uh it was fun it was fun but it was qu- it, we quickly realized oh we'll be fat or dead <laughs> <laughs> if you have a pizza after every show believe it or not i would say no more than 3 days ever goes by that i don't think about that really <laughs> That pizza Tom and I used to have on the way home on the plane. I that you, Gaffigan and I, <laughs> I said to him once after we were doing a, a Chicago and then we were going to St. Louis right after the show. Uh-huh. This is my favorite story. Yeah, <laughs> That's another new bit I have about people saying the opposite of everything. Yeah. It's like, have you ever heard a funny story after, oh, I have such a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> Never. One time. <laughs> um... <laughs> But I do love this story. So um, I said to Jim, we were doing, I think we were doing two shows at the United Center in Chicago. How about that? We oh, were kicking ass. God. And uh, I said, after this, if, if, if this, if we pull this off, I go, let's get a big pizza for the plane. Because I'm not, I never stopped thinking about it. It was not hard to talk him into that. No. <laughs> <laughs> and he knows all the best food in every town. Oh, God, yeah. So he gets some crazy deep dish Chicago pizza <laughs> and some Mr. Meat Hero sandwiches oh, that we had heard about. <laughs> Mr. Beef, <laughs> Mr. Beef, <laughs> Leno's favorite Chicago place, Mr. Beef. <laughs> so he gets two. He gets like I don't know. So I come off stage. He's standing there in the wing with the slice of pizza right in his mouth. I go, not the second we get off. St- can't you wait till we at least get on the plane? It's like, oh, he says, oh, I didn't know. I thought you wanted it right after. That's how he eats. So we so, yeah. so we get to the airport. Uh-huh. You're gonna love this. <laughs> That's another part of that same bit. When people say you'll love this, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> you might Every, like it. Everything's the opposite. <laughs> we get to the airport. Uh-huh. All of a sudden, these cars pull up with lights flashing. People jumping out and like official looking things with IDs and <laughs> patches and this like serious, very serious people are here doing something important. We don't know what it is. Yeah. And we have got a hand truck <laughs> with pizzas and Mr. Beef <laughs> heroes that we are wheeling <laughs> across the tarmac. It turns out it was a medevac heart transplant that they were rushing to save someone's life. And the four of us, me and Jim, with our pizzas and Mr. Beefs, and the results of that diet right next to us, <laughs> with emergency doctors and surgeons and medical people wheeling a living human heart in a cooler right next to us, and we're looking at each other, and we went, I know. You couldn't get a better argument and guess what we're doing than that. Yeah. But we're still going to eat we're it. Still going to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> totally forget. Yeah. <laughs> Tina Fey once I, said in the Comedians in Cars episode, of, she, she loves food. Uh-huh. And I was asking her about some food. And then she said, food is the only great reward for anything. Right. Oh, my God. There's no greater reward for, you know, any no. difficulty. No, absolutely. Yeah. I know. My wife and I were kind of like dialing it in and trying to be a little, lose a little, you know, do it as a team, you know, and uh, what other crazy idea you have. And then we both came into New York this weekend. Right. I was like, what else are you going to do? We're together. We're in New York. We're going to not eat. Yeah. I'm going to eat everything. Yeah. I'm going to eat everything. <laughs> 